Hello, so this is how to clean a thurible, or more specifically, a sensor. So this is a thurible, and most thurible's have a sensor, yours might not. If you don't have a sensor, this is what the sensor is. If you don't have that, and you just have this, you can still pretty much clean it. I'm going to be mainly showing how to clean this in a better way. What I use kind of a variety of things. And it's kind of a touch and miss, touch and pass kind of deal. So if I really want to get it cleaned, I use isopropyl, alcohol, preferred 90 but 70 works, salt baking soda, a scrubber, and a lighter, and these two things, which I'll show how to use. If you don't have any of these things and you still want kind of a good clean, or a better clean, if it's a lot of stuff in there like this, I would take a blowtorch, which you can get off of Amazon, maybe 25 bucks, I don't know. I have mine like this because when you have yours like this, you can get a butane. So it goes for butane oil fuel. And when you pop this off, it has this this thing on it. And how that works is you just flip this up upside down and this upside down. And you match those holes. They're kind of, the whole thing is kind of cheap, kind of not. It works for me. If you use a lot of incense, like where I live, and for adoration and whatnot, a torch helps a lot with charcoal instead of using a regular lighter. A torch helps with that, and I also use three kings version of charcoal but anyway anyway so i'm not going to be using the torch or not right now i'm going to show you how to use it so i get a bowl i they have a glass bowl here but i'm going to use that in a second so actually what would happen is i would put a little bit of salt into this just a little bit. This is if you really want to get it cleaned. And then I'd take some isopropyl, open that sucker up. It's kind of windy, so I apologize for the sound if it's muffled or not. Pour it in. Up to the brim. Keep out of reach of children. A trusted adult should do this. And you take your torch or your lighter and just try to light it. It's a little windy here. Once you get it lit, I'll come back with that. It's very windy right now. So I have this to change it off and look at that. It already went away. I use a torch to light, light it, but pretty much you light it until it's gone. All this stuff is gone. There we go. So that will burn and it will help to take out a lot of the stuff that has been hardened into the sensor itself. So I'll come back when that's done. Really quickly while this is going, um, while that's going, if you have someone else that is with you alongside doing this, if it's a child, kind of make sure an adult is nearby or have a dedicated sacristan or someone that can be trusted doing this really helps. Going to this, how I usually clean this is I'll take a screwdriver, it really depends on your thurible, but I'll take a screwdriver and I'll undo that. And then that whole thing can come off. And then I usually take this scrubber and once I show you how I put it the contents of this stuff in there and then I'll 
kind of scrub it out with the scrubber here. I also have a tool that most car auto parts stores have that I can show you at the end of this video. And we'll get to that in a little bit. This may take about 20 minutes to do. You can start to hear the sizzling of this as it's going. It's really just breaking down all that hardness in there. And another, another side thing is I got both of these things on Amazon. They don't come together, but just so you know where they came from. They weren't too hard to find. I just kind of searched up blowtorch when that showed up. There's different kinds of blowtorches. Yeah. I really start to hear the sizzling. And if it starts to sizzle, that's a good sign. It's also very therapeutic to watch. I really only have this tray up here to block the wind. So, mine's getting kind of to the end of it. So once this, once it gets to the end of it, I will be taking my tongs in this spoon. I'm gonna grab a hold of the sides of the sensor because it will be hot. And then I'll take the spoon and just gather as much stuff, out, goo, if you will, out of this as possible. And then I'll go from there and I'll take the sensor and put it into this jar and I'll pour baking soda into this and then upon that I'll take a jug of vinegar and I'll pour it on that so we'll do it in a second so it just went out and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these tongs I'm gonna put on this I'm gonna grab it from the side I'm gonna take my spoon I'm gonna start to take it all out so I'll be back in a second. So following my previous video, the last thing I just saw, I did not account or remember that I did not have any vinegar. Anyway, and so because of that, I just took my torch and I just furiously did this with it and I just did that a lot. And then I cleaned it out with the spoon. But you can also put this into the container, pour baking soda onto that, and then put vinegar onto that, and it'll create like a bubbly fixture. And then I'll take this sponge and I'll actually clean it out with that. And that'll help a lot. Um, so I will show you another thing of what I'm about to do also that pertains to this and includes that auto parts bucket, I would say. I'll show you in a second. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna put this sensor in here, get a box of baking soda. I don't really have any left, but we're just gonna dump that in. This is where you get your hands dirty. And then you take the vinegar, pop that sucker open, and you basically just pour it in. And then science happens. You just fill it up as much, pretty much as much as you want. And this really helps to take all that stuff out. It does, if you're doing it indoors, I recommend a platform. But you do what you want. I'm not in charge of you. And I'm gonna take this, kind of letting it be in there for a second. This way you get your hands dirty a little bit. If you have a watch, you might want to take it off as well. We're basically gonna just take our hands. Put it in there. Really good for open cuts. And then you just basically wash it out. A 
all this stuff can be found at your local Walmart, or Target, or anywhere where you get your abundance of materials. You basically just want to keep massaging it, and it going in there. That's the best time to thin it out. Most sensors, or the one that I'm obviously working with, is bronze. soda and vinegar are the best ways to clean anything. Any mom can tell you that. Any mom can tell you that. Again, this is more for cleanliness. I recommend only really adults do this. If a kid is very the child is very interested in knowing how to do this. Have, you have them watch you. But there is fire and there's caution behind that. I'm going to switch back to this. And before you know it, you start seeing the bronze. And by this point, you just check to see. You go about as much as you prefer going. You're gonna stop right now. You can stop right now. But you still get that pretty much the same effect. I always like to clean the back side of it just for the sake of it. And your hands get dirty. That's how you, that's how you do it. Alright, this is the part where, um, this is how, if I don't torch it, or if I don't put it in the cleaner deal that you saw before, this is another way that, this is what I would use for all the trinkets of it, not the sensor itself. If you want to use this, if you want to put the sensor in it, that's fine. It won't hurt it because it cr cleans all carburetor, also known as religious thurible things, parts. So when you get it, I get it from any auto parts store. It comes with a little tray. But so how we're going to do this, how you will do this is you'll just put, let's say the screw, you just plop it in there. You'll take this, I'll just plop it in there. And you just kind of let it, afterwards you just let it sit. 
How long, you might ask? I don't really know. You just, I just eyeball it. But yeah, I would probably come back and check it in a couple of hours. And you kind of just see how it goes from there. If you like how it looks in a couple hours, you do that. If you want to keep it in there more, you do that.